Call for practice paper five, question number two. A right cylindrical metal rod is heated. Let's draw a sketch. Don't have to, but sometimes it just helps to simulate your thoughts. So here's our right cylindrical metal rod. After t seconds, the radius of the rod is 2x centimetres. So the radius. I'll write the word radius there just to make sure we don't forget that's the radius is 2x and the length is 7x both dimensions are in centimeters the cross-sectional area is increasing at a rate of 0.024 square centimeters per second find dx dt when the radius of the rod is 2.5 centimeters Let's look at this cross-sectional area of the rod increasing bit. If we call A the cross-sectional area of the rod, then dA dt is the rate that the area is changing, in this case increasing. So this is the cross-sectional area increasing at a rate of, so we can write that down, that's our first statement. OK, we're trying to find dx dt and we've got dA dt. So let's put dA dt there and have a little think. We know what that is, so it must have something to do with that. Using the chain rule, if we have dA there and dx there, that will cancel down to that. So we're really trying to find dx dA as our first move. We need a connection between A and X, or X and A. A is the cross-sectional area. The cross-sectional area is the shape of a circle. Therefore, area equals pi r squared must be what we're after. The radius is in fact 2x, so the cross-sectional area is the square of 2x. So we've got A equals pi 4x squared. So if we differentiate this with respect to x, we'll get what we want over there. So differentiating with respect to x gives us dA dx equals 2 fourths eight x pi. So we can now substitute the information we've obtained into there. So we have dx dt equals dx dA. Unfortunately, we don't have dx dA, we have dA dx. But if we turn this upside down, and we, th we think of this as over 1, and we turn this upside down, then that's that hurdle jumped over. If dA dx is 8x pi, then dx dA is 1 over 8x pi. Let's put this information in, we know what that is. So I'll put a multiplication sign there. Um, 18 to 24 goes 3, so in fact we can cancel that 8 and get 0 0.003 over pi x, x pi. Doesn't matter which way you write it round. So this is the rate of change of x with respect to time. We've got to find this dx dt when the radius is actually... 2.5 centimetres. So let's think about that. Radius is 2.5, which in this case means 2x equals 2.5. So x itself is 1.25. So I need to substitute that into here. In other words, work out pi times that and divide that result into that, obviously using a calculator. Lastly, the answer is to be to three significant figures. So if you do that on a calculator and then you correct it to three significant figures, this is in fact what you get. So there's our answer, but I'll put our units, centimetres per second. That's part A done. Only four marks going for that. So we have a mark for this appreciation of the chain rule. A mark for realising that needs to be worked out. A mark for substituting in and getting the general dx dt, and then a mark for the particular 
rate of change of x with respect to time that the examiner has asked me for. So that's the end of part 2a. If you want to see the rest, then you need to visit www.mathtutor.biz and buy yourself this exam paper along with the DVD that goes through the whole exam paper explaining everything because this was just been question 2 part A and you've got question 2 part B and then the whole of the rest of the exam paper all the solutions all the marks and how to do it all will appear on this DVD which is one of a set of three DVDs which if you visit my website www.masstutor.biz you can buy yourself the set this is actually on core 4 it's the second set and this is the second paper in this set and this is the second question in this second set second paper love to hear from you